In this video, we are going to explain in detail how to simplify sine pi over 3, cosecant pi over 3, plus cotangent pi over 3, sine pi over 3. To find the exact value of the given trigonometric expression, let us convert the given radians to degree, that is pi over 3. To convert this one into degree, let us multiply by 180 degrees over pi, and let us cancel pi, that is 180 degrees over 3, 180 degrees divided by 3, that is 60 degrees. So this will be the value of pi over 3 in degrees. And let us substitute this one to the given expression, that is sine 60 degrees times cosecant 60 degrees plus cotangent 60 degrees times sine 60 degrees. Sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. And the opposite of cosecant is sine. If sine 60 is square root of 3 over 2, the reciprocal is 2 over square root of 3. And let us rationalize by multiplying square root of 3 on the numerator and denominator. So we have 2 square root of 3 and then square root of 3 times square root of 3 that is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So this will be the value of cosecant 60. 2 square root of 3 over 3. Plus, we all know that cotangent is cosine over sine. If the given angle is 60 degrees, we are going to have cosine 60 over sine 60. Cosine 60, that is 1 half. And sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. Let us cancel this one. And we are going to have 1 over square root of 3. And then let us rationalize by multiplying square root of 3 on the numerator and the denominator to eliminate the radical sign on the denominator. 1 times square root of 3, that is square root of 3. Then, square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So this will be the value of cotangent 60 degrees. That is square root of 3 over 3. And then, sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. And let us multiply. Square root of 3 times 2, square root of 3, that is 2 times 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Then, 2 times 3 is 6. Plus, square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is 3. 3 times 2 that is 6. Then, 2 times 3, that is 6 over 6, plus 3 over 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. And we can write 3 over 6 into 1 half. Therefore, our answer is 1 and 1 half.